All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Honest Hearts, the first DLC of New Vegas, as I said. Uh, yeah, that this isn't the first DLC. Dead Money is. And I'm a ding dong for thinking so. Which, again, you know, I just didn't do my fucking research. So, you know, that's on me. That's definitely on me. Especially because Dead Money would have been better to Let's Play. Because it is survival horror. And if I... I'm going to change my quest over to... Right, I never got that. Yeah. Forgot to get this after I died. All right, there we go. All right, cool. Yeah, I decided that I wanted to 100% uh, this DLC. It's fucking rain ain't letting up, though, is it? But if I would have played uh, Dead Money, seeing as it is October... It would have been a lot better because that is a survival horror DLC to the uh, action first-person shooter RPG that is New Vegas. Did I just break my legs? Oh, boy. Well, let's start drinking water. See so, ya. Yeah. This is still a very interesting DLC. The fact that there's literally no radiation is so interesting. Like having a having a Fallout game without radiation. Like god, it's in the title. To remove something so simple and core to Fallout. Oh god. Oh, thanks. I was trying to conserve healing items because I am in survival mode. Don't know if that's going to be uh, possible. Yeah. Let's get one of those. You really can come to the DLC without anything. I'm like stuck down here. <laughs> okay. Can I quick travel? Fuck. Man. I wonder I wonder how common this is. Just getting trapped in the Eastern Virgin just can't get out no way out stuck in this fucking river oh on a mesquite boy howdy there's a comment that yahtzee made uh the video game reviewer yahtzee yahtzee croshaw well, his name is ben yahtzee croshaw Um, he, he made a comment about, uh, worry, he was worrying about the VAT system getting boring just because you do it so much. But upon some, like, actual gameplay, he decided that he would probably never get tired of seeing stuff explode into chunks in slow motion. So a lot of the food, um, I'm not sure if it's, I can't remember rather, if it's like this in the normal mode, but in survival mode, uh, all the raw food has a debuff on it. Mostly it reduces your strength. And because I'm a pack rat, that's a big fucking problem for me because I have to loot everything. So far in this game, I've only made one uh, completely encumbered trip to... 
So far, I've only made one completely encumbered trip to uh, anywhere. I would like to not make another. It's 11 p.m. Let's wait for nine hours. That'll put us at eight in the morning. 8.30 even. All right. A little sippy. And then let's head over. Oh, man, this is a, this is a really, I'm I'm just kind of fascinated by it, especially when you put this against Dead Money. Because for those who don't know, Dead Money takes place in one of the shittier parts of the world. All right, I'm going to try to avoid killing them. I. Are you co is is follows talk coded to not kill them? Or wait, no. I have to keep that save just in case the DLC fucks up. And I'll lose all the DLC progress, but at least I will have a game that I can play. The way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. Well boy howdy does that sound mighty familiar. I'm sure you're familiar with the fellows in the Caesar's Legion. You know, for some reason, talking in my... I'm not even going to dignify with Texan accent, my cowboy voice. It's so satisfying to me. I'm not sure what it is. It's just... Oh, it's so fun. You know? Oh, hello. Okay. So this isn't too hard. Oh, no. You're a motherfucker. Sure. Okay. Yeah, shut up. You don't get to say that after you're like, you can't kill any of these. There are sacred beasts. They're super important to... Ah! God, you're like Sarah Lyons. Just, here's this thing that's super important to me. Will you do it? No, you have to do it. I should make it more obvious. You have to do it. Even though it's the most important thing to me and I'm invulnerable, you are the one who must do it. Kate, my good friend Caitlin, uh, I, I'm going to bite this bullet and admit I was wrong. Hold on to this, you know, clip this if you want. Kate, I was wrong. Fallout 3 definitely is just a story about the player character's dad. And the player character is kind of irrelevant inside of it. I'm willing to say that. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Now that I've got that out of the way, let me explain. I was arguing with Kate, as I do. That's uh, my national pastime, in fact, for the nation that I will eventually start, I imagine. Oh, boy. I hope that there's no infighting. This is the one time where I don't want you guys to kill each other to make it easier on me. I wonder how big the XP bonus for not killing them is. Because killing all of them might be a better... Uh, get for XP. Okay. We can safely hide here. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, God. My ear little and tall voice. God. Let's pop a little something. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Dog steak. Why not? But yes, while arguing with Kate, she posited that Fallout 3 is really just a story about Liam Neeson. And the main character's only choice is to continue his legacy or ruin it. And they really have no agency of their own. Also, the, the thing about making the player character the 
a, a, a son of an important figure is that they're always 19. Feed it yucca fruit. Okay. Oh boy, really? Uh, guys, I've uh, kind of got a um. Okay, okay, cool. We're good. And I'm having to use my doom fingers, like where I almost claw grip my own computer. You might even be able to hear me mashing. You can, yep, I can see it. I can see it peeking on the space bar. Oh boy. Gex steak. Um, guan on a stick. Actually, let's take a look at my status. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm going to need one. Dr. Wasteland MD. See, you assholes, I'm trying to help you. There's an infant trapped somewhere, and I'm the one rescuing him. I may have overdone it on my foods. See, maybe I can get him stuck behind something. Oh, I don't want to go that, that way. Oh, there goes my arm. I can still shoot, at least. Oh my god. You're really going to do this to me, huh? We're playing fucking Star Fox Adventures now. That's where we're at. Where's the fucking mom, at least? Okay, well, this gives me a sec, at least. See, if I were to just kill them all, and there's all my doctors back, you guys are dickheads. Like, I would love it if they modeled it with a broken horn or something. All right, come on, come on. I think I'm supposed to lead it this way. Return the calf, right? Okay. Doctor follows chalk. Nice. Now we've got to get the fuck out of here. And then we'll go massacre them as revenge. Like, if anyone played KOTOR, you'll know what I'm talking about. But whenever you fucking play KOTOR... Hold on. What can I tell you? Well, I returned the calf to the big uh, to its mother and didn't even kill any of the big horners. Glad to hear it. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. All right. Nothing else. Talk to you later. Oh, whoops. Follow me. Yeah, Zion Canyon. Save 23 is the one I got to keep my finger on. Let's go kill us some big horner, shall we? I know that you're itching to, based on your behavior in the prior universe that I collapsed in upon itself. I love that this rifle uses uh, handgun bullets, by the way. God, what's happening? Why are they exploding? Do big horners have really weak heads because of like all the skull bashing? Okay, let's get rid of some of these. Uh, more gecko steaks. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, these are the ones that I saved. I can actually... Oh, I'll spare them. You can go on. <laughs> Show me your inventory, man. Here, take these. They're waiting. They're waiting me down. Now let's get the chicken shit out of here. Hold on. I wanted to make the amount of uh, bullets in my gun even. Oh, come on. Yeah. All right. That worked pretty well. I wonder if I can steal this. Then go here and cook the stolen meat. Nice, nice. That's that's great. That's awesome, in fact. All right. I love doing shit like that. Ah. Oops. That's cool. Kind of a shame it doesn't show me the damage. Uh, let's get started on the next quest, shall we? Questo. Tourist trap. All right, guess we're going to Antboro, home of the picnic killers, but I don't know why I'm like doing a Waka impression. He's not uh, an Albed. I always, I'm always very interested to see how video games, how do I put this? Video games treatment of indigenous peoples has always been something I've been very interested in. Oh. Shoot them in the legs. They're white legs. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Because, like, I talked about playing the Borderlands DLC and it was very oof, you know? Like, uncomfortable, even. Why don't I put this on? Well, I'd love to see how I look, but I don't think that's in the cards. Let's uh, put some of my weapons together. Oh, I've got one of these now. Where'd I get this? Dude, come here. Well then, Crack it open. You're in the Legion now. Oh, wow, and he is as well. Okay, let's find something heavy and eat it. A little sip of that. Banana yucca. I love cave paintings. How does, um, oh wow, that's a, that's an awesome club. Oh, whoops, I just turned on caps lock. Pardon me. All right, let's see how this thing works. I mean, I know how it works, you know, the function of it, but it's damage 18 versus damage 15. That's not bad. Oh boy. I really should start specking myself out for light armor. Or actually, I should figure out what the what my favorite set of armor is, and it's probably going to be the NCR veteran. 
Because goddamn, that shit is so fucking tight. But I should figure out what class that is. Which I will do for myself off camera. Now, I don't know when y'all are seeing this, but I'm recording this last week at least. So, I will have likely already done that. You know, I'm still kicking my ass over the fact that I forgot to, uh, forgot that Dead Money actually came out first. Especially because Dead Money would have fit so well. I'll do Dead Money later. I usually like to do things in order, which is why I kicked my own ass when I realized that Halo Wars actually comes before Reach, but I could have skipped Halo Wars. Nothing important really happened. Like, it doesn't illuminate some things about Halo Reach that required me to play it, but... God, it's just... Bleh. I'm probably going to play... Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to play Halo uh, Combat Evolved at some point. And that point is going to be pretty soon, actually. What's going on here? Oops. Why don't I switch? Yeah, TBH, the cowboy repeater is kind of just a pistol with a long barrel. Okay. Dead Horse Warrior. Oh, let's see if I can put that on. How does that look? Good. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's see if I can repair it with the other ones. I can, nice. Maybe I'll wear that. I'm kind of on the hunt for like my next piece of armor. I'm just not entirely sure where I'll actually get it. I wish that there were more options for repairing things. Fucking really, I just... I just broke that arm, dog. <laughs> he is, in fact, literally a dog. And wouldn't you know it, I am out of stim packs. Nope, I'm out of doctor's bags. I don't even know if there are any doctors in this DLC. Northern Folk. Fork. Walker of the Mojave. Well, that's me. Even though that this is not at all within the Mojave. Oh, that's neat. All right. Yep, yep. Oh yeah, I looked that guy up. His name is uh, J.E. Sawyer. That's what he normally goes by. Yeah. Gotcha. Ruckustum. I get credit for that, right? Hell yeah, I do. TBH, all I want to do is just shoot, 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 shoot. Little scout lunchbox. Silence 22. I think that thing's a piece of shit, isn't it? Ooh, nice. I found a key. I love the big holler for it. Mojave snow globe. Wait, wait. Is this a reference to, like, Bukake? Something about it. I don't like that. I don't know what it is. I think it's the subtle hinting towards Bukake. Probably a little much, but that's okay. There 
can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch good paper squares on the table. Okay. Oops. Give me all that. The friend Kate that I mentioned arguing with, she also taught me how to do these. For the longest time, I played um, Fallout 3 probably like 10 years ago. And the game hasn't had much in the way of like updates. Like Fallout 4 still uses the same hacking minigame. And I did not know about the thing with brackets. Let's see if I can even fucking find it. Yeah, here we go. If you click on those, it takes out duds. They have to be two matching brackets, like these and these match. Let's try white. Okay, one letter and that was correct, I think. Stole was really close. State? Damn. Well, I guess we'll keep looking for stuff. Oh, hell, I'll take it. I'm over encumbered. Really need a shop, I'm finding. Uh, give me that. And that. It's not that I want them, but I can combine them and make it take up overall less space. Oh, this is a fresh, that's a completely fresh uh, thing. Nice. All right, Chalk Boy. Does anyone remember Chalk Zone? Five pounds of not clothes. You know, one of these days, I'll probably do an energy weapons playthrough. I'm just, like, so uninterested by them. I don't know what it is. I did one in um, Fallout 4. But something about them is just, like, bleh. I honestly don't know what it is. These are pretty good uh, selling price for their weight. Those are coolers. That's funny. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I just got confused for a sec because I heard licking uh, my cats over there. One of my two cats, because I don't know if uh, how often this has been brought up on camera, but I do have two cats now and I love them both dearly. Oh, fuck. Now I'm addicted to scotch. I really got to get the strong back perk if I'm going to keep pack ratting things everywhere. Fuck. What I really need is a shop. Like, I need a store, man. Dude, I had that one. Alright, let's head over to Ranger Station. Let's see if we can't f rustle up some more lunch boxes. Why do we need these again? Fighting time. Fighting time. All right, I can see that I'm just going to have to... Oh, okay. Medical supply is mostly intact, but several of the sterile bandages have been broken open. Bottles leaking. You can salvage what's there or 
find replacements or use alcohol. Whereas duct tape and turpentine. With some high proof alcohol, you could sterilize it. Sterilize. Nice. We'll get some sleeping. Packet of fags. Nice. Like, because I hate cigarettes, but they're so worth their weight that I love just taking them so I can sell them. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I ever finished my train of thought on lockpicking in this game. Ooh, nice. Yeah, sure. Because there's this thing with lock picking. You can only pick locks of a certain level. Oh, wait, hold on. I want these two. You can only pick locks of a certain level. Oh. Well. I guess in that case, you can have these back. Um, right, so you're only allowed to pick locks of some level, you know, the level that you've unlocked. And that's a, an example of gating, you know, stopping the player from doing something until they have something else. And there's a lot of ways that you can gate a player. There's skill gating, which is, you know, you have to be, you have to get to a certain level of skill within the game before you can play further. And that can be difficult, but... Well Alright, let's unload some more shit. Hammer, yeah. Gecko hides. I look like a pack Brahmin to you? Come on, we travel light. I look like a pack Brahmin to you? Come on, we travel light. Fine, jeez. Like like God, okay, fine. He's full up. Anyway, so in Skyrim, um, your lockpicking gets better as you level it up. And I just, I'm, I'm really not sure about that. Wow. What the fuck? Um. Just what the good is new. Just what the medicine meant. What the hell is this thing? Gotcha. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, what in God's name was that? Now look what it's doing. It's fucking the earth. Gotcha. Oh, I was going to get that one. Anyway, so yeah, when you're lockpicking, um, you're not allowed to lockpick certain items until you level it up. But that always struck me as really weird because why bother? Nice. Because if you're going to level it up, why make the locks harder? You know, if you can't pick the harder locks, then why are they even harder? Because it makes more sense in Skyrim where you're not restricted on what you can and can't pick. You can pick any lock from the very start of the game. It's just how hard it is. And when you're at base level lock picking, picking an extra hard lock, it's nearly impossible. But you can still do it maybe. As opposed to it being literally impossible because the game says, nope, you can't do that. It's just kind of weird, you know? It's one of the gameplay things that I'm not sure, like transferred over when this game became uh, like another Elder Scrolls game.
because giving giving lock picking a mini game makes sense. You know, it, it makes it more dynamic. It makes it you know something that you do instead of just you click this button and the game tells you if you do it or not. You know, but it's still a skill that you put points into as opposed to leveling it up, which just to me makes it feel kind of weird because I feel like it should just be either or. Because Skyrim it's a video game, or Skyrim it's a mini game that gets. That is hard, but gets easier the more you do it. And you can practice it and stuff. Whereas in this, or or whereas in the older Fallout's, it was just a thing where you essentially asked the game if you could do it. If you could, they were like, "Yeah, here it is." If you can't, they were like, "No." How do I unlock this? Is there no way to unlock it? How come you're in here? I told you to wait outside. Oh, there's one. There we go. Anyway, yeah, that's just one of my complaints about modern Fallout. Still not, like, anywhere near as bad as, you know, some of the other issues with, like, 3 and 4. Some issues that even persist into Fallout New Vegas, but, you know. Okay, let's see if we can't find this. Where's my radiation at? I have radiation. Well, why not just get rid of that, you know? I'll just put myself to complete nothing. All right. Just readjusting my mic there a little bit. Boy, I can't wait to play Dead Money. Apparently, there's this big stack of gold bars. Okay, wait. So, it's... I'm just trying to... Oh, there it is. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay. Um... Let's get repair up. Let's get melee weapons to 50. I've still got skill books to find, so I don't want to max that out. Yeah, explosives. Hell yeah. Deliverer of Sorrows. Oh my god. Okay. Well, let's see if we can't fix this. Scotch. Brahmin steak. Okay, don't eat that. Will beer stack it? It won't. Damn. Okay. One pound of gumdrops. Oh, I can drop this. That's not really worth my time. I want those. I need those. Pink gun is three caps for a pound. I like to keep these on me because you can go to a, a place and don't really need that since I don't have the ability to craft those yet. That's not too worth it. Uh, 
Let's just eat two pounds of food, huh? Nice. 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 Okay. Now, I will open my tablet over here. So, um, yeah, there's this really interesting thing. You can take rad scorpion glands to a lady in somewhere. Um, it's in, like, the second town you're supposed to go to. Um, but anyway, you go there and you, uh, she makes scorpion venom into something. Okay. Um, and she's, and you're like, isn't that extremely deadly? She's like, well, as long as you don't have any open sores. Oh, great. Well, that's just fantastic. Okay. There's only two merchants. Um, put your shit in Graham's cave. Okay, I can do that. Off to Angel Cave we go. And away we go. Come on, hustle. Before all our shit runs out. Yeah, I skimmed the article because I try not to, like... Oh. Interesting. Okay, let's get rid of that. Yeah, let's just start unloading all this. Oh, empty syringes are only nearly weightless. Interesting. But yeah, that also, that's how a real, like, poisonous or toxic food can work. There's some food that you can eat it, and it won't hurt you. Up close and personal. Well Oops. Uh, yeah, there's some food where you can eat it, and it won't hurt you. Oh, right, that's my inventory. I was like, why does he have a caravan shotgun? Give me that. Give me these. That's really heavy, so I'm going to take that off you. Wow, all right. Yep. Okay. I'll keep that because I kind of want it. I'll stow that for now. Stow that. Yeah, I'll rock with that. Those are heavy AF. But yeah, there's apparently like a, a, a non-zero factor when it comes to that. There's a lot of food that you can eat even though it's like Straight fucking poison. Well, the thing is, poison is something where you eat it. And it makes you sick. But venom has to be injected. Which means that there's some venoms that you can eat without it poisoning you. Normally there isn't a distinction. But in some cases, yeah, that's totally doable. Which is just hilarious. Yeah, I don't use these, and I don't use these. So I'm not going to carry 10 pounds of ammo I'm not going to use. I'll leave the food for now. Let's see if there's anything I can make. Cool. Reload and bench. I've never found too much use for that so far. It's kind of a pain in the buttock. All right, I'm going to start running the space again real quick. So let's offload some stuff. Yeah, let's put nine pounds of meat in there. Let's put all the raw meats in there. 
Actually, let's put the cooked meats in there, and then I'll go outside and I'll cook my raw meat. I see, steak can go in there. All right. Yeah, I'm starting to min-max. Well, I'm kind of constantly min-maxing, but you know. Okay. Let's take a look at that thing I got. Big book of science. Nice. Yeah, I was sure to try to save all my shit, all the skill books, until after I got um, the perk that ups your... Uh, ups the comprehension of books that you read. I can come back for those later. So where the hell does, does Joshua go? Excuse me, Mr. Graham. Anybody? Wow. God damn, that is a fucking beautiful night sky. Oh, hello, Mr. Graham. Welcome back. What'd you say about a courier? Who are you expecting? Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentarii and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory, but maybe this one survived. What's going on with all these tribes? A great deal. There are three, let's say four, tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Lake on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We're new Canaanites. Why do the White Legs attack my caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a White Leg, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here... They are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's legion. And they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites. And everyone we shelter. So an interesting thing there. Um, the explanation for... Because normally it's a bit weird whenever every single member of a race is chaotic evil. Um... And sometimes it's a cultural thing. Sometimes it really is just every member of this race is chaotic evil. And sometimes that can get a little ooh when you're talking about orcs. It's a little more ooh when you're talking about um, uh, Native American indigenous tribe. But in this case, it's because of what other people around them have done. And the people who founded that tribe never learned how to farm. So, yeah, the only way that they... Oh my god, I have hiccups. The only way that they can survive is just by killing fools. So they're almost like pitiable in a way. Like, because of what has happened to them, they've just, they're deprived of stuff. Do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horses. We think they were originally refugees place called Rez, east of the Grand Canyon. They speak a combination of Rez and the language spoken by travelers who were visiting Rez when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. So Rez is possibly reservation, implying that uh, they're actually Native Americans that existed before the war. Because a lot of tribes are actually founded by people who left the vaults. In Fallout 1, your character leaves the vault in the grand Fallout tradition of leaving your vault to go get some shit. Like a water chip, your dad, your son, etc. But in Fallout 2, you're the grandson of that guy. Or grandchild, but you know. And uh, you... He, he founded a tribe, essentially. All right. Does the valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God. But no. The 
The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I return to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. Why haven't I seen any sorrows in the valley? The sorrows have many skilled hunters among them, but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the White Lakes. That's why we're here. Are the new Canaanites really a tribe? We wear more clothing than them and understand more about technology. But we're still a tribe. A linked family of families. Boneyard, Phoenix, New Vegas, they're just places, metal and stone. New Canaan dies, but the tribe lives on. When the walls come tumbling down and you lose everything you have, you always have family. And your family always has tribe. Let's talk about something else. Of course. Do you have anything to trade? didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. So here I can actually offload some of the denarii that I have. Get rid of some of that. Some of that. I'll hold on to those since they're a crafting ingredient. Don't need these. Okay. Now. I'm almost regretting my decision to throw everything up there, but that's fine. Uh, a lot more pistols and submachine guns. I'll be able to repair those that way. That's cool. Frag grenades and frag mines. He's got a grenade launcher. Right. This is how you can heal limb damage here. I'll take a few of those, sir. And some water. Oh, nice. That's cool. Far club honors and casings. Casings. Beanbag shots, huh? It does fatigue damage. That's funny. And he has all the pieces of an M1911. Cool. Oh, what the heck. I'm not getting the chance to use a lot of venom. So, you know, why not? Goodbye. God be with you. You know that's actually the origin of the phrase goodbye. Because if you shorten the phrase God be with you, it comes out to goodbye. All right, cool. Where's my weight at right now? It's good. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They you know, I've got spurs that jingle jangle. Yeah, why don't I just trot back upstairs and grab all the shit I have in this fucking case? Fuck. Okay, well. That's why. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. I hope everyone's excited to see a whole bunch of fucking inventory management. Because goddamn, you sure are getting it, huh? I 
I'll leave that in there. Well, it's really heavy. All right, now let's rush it back downstairs and start to offload some of that. I imagine that this is kind of what people would have expected from a uh, New Vegas. So, you know. Actually, you know what? I'll cut it here and I can do this off camera. So, I'll see you guys next time. This has been Fallout New Vegas Honest Hearts. I've been Alfred. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.